Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. So, since I don't really have anything to do, I decided we can go to the exchange in the commissary. So, let's go. So, as y'all know, I'm on Fort Bragg and I got this little rental car situation, but you know what? At least I got some wheels to get around. I did not know and no one told me how big Fort Bragg is. This space is not a normal bay. This space is huge. you guys I really don't have anything in here I need to get but I just wanted to walk around to see see what all they had to offer now all for home decor stuff all for it team Batman or team Superman let me know down in the comment section oh these are cute but I can't lie it kind of reminds me of something that my grandma would use in her kitchen, but I don't know. The best section. Y'all, if y'all don't know anything about these ginormous extra large bath towels, I know some places they call them bath sheets, but if y'all don't know anything about that, then y'all need to get y'all life together. So, guys, this is my favorite line of the Bath & Body Works collection. Happiness is a really good one. I really like that. Alright, they have a huge pet section. So, for those who don't know, I do have two fur babies. Beauty and Ammo. One is a Cocker Spaniel. The other one is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. You guys will meet them eventually. Oh, but these right here. <laughs> Emma love those balls. They're like his favorite ever in life. And it looks like they have different vendors this way. So that's cool. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised you guys. It's pretty nice in there. The food court has a lot of options in there as well. Um, but I like it. Now, off to the commissary. Can we just talk about how I'm out here in public looking like a hot mess? But when I get back to my room, I'm gonna do something to my hair for real, you guys. And I have this whole pimple situation on my forehead. Lord. The commissary, and they got a Starbucks. Yo, that is so funny. I was just here thinking that back in the day, Snap used to be a thing. Like, people would be like, oh, Snap, did you see that? So, do people still say snap these days like that's crazy right do people still say that okay so i actually do need to pick up a few things from the commissary because uh, apparently we will have lunch breaks this week but we won't be able to leave so they do recommend that we bring our own lunch so i'm just coming in here to grab a few things um maybe to make some sandwiches or some snacks but we'll see for those who don't know, the commissary is literally like a regular grocery store. The only difference is most of them, if not all, don't have tax on their groceries. And I normally buy my meats from the commissary because... And I normally buy my meats from the commissary because they're always cheaper. Like, seriously. I seriously don't need to be in this aisle, but I do want to get 
these bagels because they're so good with this cream cheese. My sister-in-law, shout out to Robin, she had made some homemade cream cheese with jalapenos in it. And I found this on the shelf not too long ago. And I was like, oh, I have to try it. Hopefully it tastes just as good. But we'll see. some sandwich meat but it's pretty scarce in this category so some maple honey ham that sounds good and let's get some blackened turkey breast so I want to get some mayonnaise for my sandwich but I don't want to get nothing too big because I need to try to use it up before I leave. Y'all, is it just me? But I have to reach to the back to grab a product. I don't like grabbing the first one. The first one that you see, I have to reach in the back to grab something. Y'all, have y'all tried these? These are so good if y'all like pickles. So convenient to be in these little cups. I get that for a snack. All right, so I have some meat, bread, some condiments. What else did I need? Oh, cheese. Oh, look at these, you guys. This will be a good snack. And it's in the pack, so it's so convenient. Got my cheese. Okay, you guys, I think I'm pretty much done. So, real quick, you guys, I have a budget. So, if I'm over, I'm putting some stuff back. Yo, Woo, barely made it. Okay, so that's done. I'm about to head back to my room. So I catch y'all when I get there. Okay, y'all, I'm finally back in my room. So let me show you guys what I got. Here we go. Not much, but enough to hold me over for this week. Hopefully I got some meat, cheese for sandwiches, a few snacks, um, stuff I'm gonna eat today. Let me just tell you guys real quick. So before Thanksgiving, I think around September, I started keto. Then Thanksgiving happened and ever since then, keto has been non-existent. And I keep telling myself, I really wanna get back on keto, but man the way these breads and sweets are set up i promise you when i was on keto i did not have this issue but let me show you what i got that's not keto friendly beef patties not keto friendly ice cream not keto friendly nuts and chocolate trail mix not keto friendly bread definitely not keto friendly but again you know, I'm just trying to find the easiest way to stay within my budget and to be able to make my my lunch or whatever for the seminar I have to attend this week. And, you know, when you're traveling, it's just so hard. And, you know, I know that might sound like an excuse, but I promise you, I'm going to get I'm going to get it together. Seriously. Okay, you guys, that pretty much ends my video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe as well as hitting the notification button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.